Señor Presidente. The Pope wrote this important letter about Europe on the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the Holy See and the European Union. In the letter, he warns about the temptation of populism and asks the European continent to rediscover the ideals that led to committing to what unites its people and not to what separates them. He warns that the pandemic forces a choice between the path we have taken in the past decade, yielding to the temptation to autonomy and thus to ever greater misunderstanding, disagreement and conflict, and the path of fraternity that inspired and guided the founders of modern Europe. It's a message reminiscent of the one he gave to EU leaders during the 60th anniversary of the Treaty of Rome. Al contrario, i populismi fioriscono proprio dall'egoismo che chiude in un cerchio ristretto e soffocante e che non consente di superare la limitatezza dei propri pensieri e guardare oltre. The Pope calls for a Europe marked by a healthy secularism, where God and Caesar remain distinct but not opposed, where believers are free to profess their faith in public and to put forward their own point of view in society. He says this certain secularism that closes the doors to others, and especially to God, is outdated, for it is evident that a culture or political system that lacks openness to transcendence proves insufficiently respectful of the human person. It's a strong letter to be read carefully in these times of crisis, and one that marks an exciting prospect for the future.